Christian, go ahead. Akil, I think you guys got the lead down to two in the fourth quarter. Um, just what did you feel like was, was working with you guys on the floor during that uh, stretch of the game? Stringing stops along. I think uh, even though we lost, this is probably one of our uh, better defensive efforts in terms of allowing opponent scoring. Um, in, a, in a game where we're not shooting well, uh, we did a, a lot that got us over that hump in terms of guarding, communicating, just playing hard, making sure that ball was moving side to side. And uh, we stuck with it. Uh, we stayed the course, and that allowed us to get to, down to two. I know y'all haven't played a ton together this year, but what was it like just getting an extended run next to Kyra, just figuring out how y'all can complement each other on both sides of the court? That was, it was really fun. That was uh, really, really fun. I mean, I was excited, um, especially to know like we can do well. Um, we can play against good teams. They're a finals team um, that had a lot of their vet players playing. So I, I was excited to be out there with Kyra and make an impact um, on the game. Uh, you feel David Griffin kind of spoke publicly for the first time in a while and basically said, you know, like he understands the frustrations of some of you guys not getting the consistent minutes, but that you kind of have to earn them and that, you know, a team that's trying to win and a winning culture and those sorts of things. What's your kind of takeaway from that? The idea that, that you might not be in a rotation consistently and that in order to, to get those minutes, you know, you kind of have to earn them on the floor. I mean, it's, it's life. Um, you know, as, as long as the opportunity's there, uh, you got to work hard and you got to earn things. Um, it's nothing new. Uh, in terms of playing playing basketball, being an NBA player, I feel like you have to earn a right to get drafted. You have to earn a right to even get in the game, make it past the cut. Um, to be in my second year, I had to earn a right to do that. So nothing's new in terms of earning things. Do you feel like you've gotten the opportunity this season? Uh, like when you mentioned just there, you know, it's about opportunity. Do you feel like you've gotten, you know, a, a, a fair opportunity? Uh, I do feel like I've gotten an opportunity. Um, I do think there were different games where I had gotten the opportunity to get in and play impactful minutes. And um, I think with those games, uh, I've, I've shown that I, I can help the team and um, just did what I can, did my part and controlled what I can control. Nikhil, if you had, uh, if someone had told you during training camp that at the halfway point of the season, you would be you know, one of the best offensive teams in the NBA and, and one of the worst defensive teams. Would that, have, would that have been surprising to you that you guys are, are at this point halfway through the season? I mean, yes and no. I mean, offensively, you look at Zion, you look at B.I., and then you look at uh, guys like J.J. who can shoot the ball, Zoe who can create, um, who's worked tremendously on his shot, and now he's a legitimate shooter. Um, and so it's like, I look around and I see a, a bunch of guys that can put the ball in the basket. Um, defensively, I would I would say I'm a little bit surprised because of our competitiveness and our will to get after it in training camp. So I think uh, yes and no. Uh, 